The goals of human life. Every living being has desire. Kama is a Sanskrit word for desire. Typically, we desire for something that we don't have. This desire drives us to action that is needed to fulfill the desire. The means of satisfying desires is called artha in Sanskrit. In the language of economics, desire leading to activity is demand leading to supply. Supply can never catch up with demand. Humans always have desires and these are not bound by materialistic constraints. But this is not the case with supply. So there will always be an acute shortage of supply against perpetual demand. If desire goes on a rampage in a blind quest for gratification, the world will come to a standstill in seconds. It is because of the great compromise, willing or unwilling, that we have made within and amongst ourselves. We agree to abide by the rules that we have ourselves set for the smooth functioning of our societies. When this compromise is enforced from outside, it becomes a rule or a law. When it is realized from within, it becomes responsibility and awareness. This compromise, which is both a rule and a realization, is called dharma. This is the fundamental principle of sustainability. Dharma helps us balance kama and artha. Liberation from the triangular frame of demand, supply and compromise is called moksha. We have to destroy desires and go beyond the physical world in order to realize this final goal of human life. If we can adhere to dharma at all times, keep kama in check and efficiently manage artha, our life becomes well-rounded. This helps prepare the ground for moksha which is almost a natural result of managing the other three in the right way. These four concepts, dharma, artha, kama, moksha, are together called the purusharthas. Purusha means the self and artha is the means to understand the self. This wonderful conception of purusharthas is relevant to everyone across time and place.